What's up guys, it's me Trey, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be giving you a presentation of the Pride of Mid-American Marching Band. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and tell your friends and family. Let's get started. What is the Pride of Mid-American Marching Band? The Pride of Mid-American Marching Band is the name of the Ball State University Marching Band, being around 200 members, and is the largest student organization in Ball State. As you can see on your left, that is the trombones in 2006. Next slide. Ball, S Ball State's <laughs> University. I'm sorry, guys. I almost said it wrong. But the band was first organized in 1926 by Clyde or Claude E. Palmer, who was head of the music department in Ball State University. Then, in 1945, Robert Hardrees became the next band director. Then he selected Robert Hamilton to be the next band director. <laughs> then in 1950, Herbert Fred became the next ba next director. And then late in the 1950s, the next director is Earl Dunn. Then in 1984, the next director after him was Joseph Scott Mulvey. If I if I say that wrong, just put it in the comments. I took a guess on it. And the last next band and last the next band director was Thomas Caniva. And as you can see on your left, that is the Ball State in Indiana Fall in, two, uh, in 2007. I do not know what block that is, but I'm going to have a guess it might be um, their logo, possibly. But as you can see in the middle of the field, they're at Indi um, Indiana University. Ball State's namesake. The, pride, the name Pride of Mid-America was first introduced back in the early 1960s early, excuse me, in the 1960s by the former director Earl Dunn. It happened when the band started to get bigger and bigger, and the name represents Ball State and its traditions. One of their traditions is leader. Band who, who are we? Band Ball State, leader. I said band who are we? Band Ball State, leader. What do we have? Band Pride. Oh, I did not realize this is what people have to say. I said, what do we have? Let's go with pride. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go, all you. The words to the march were recirculated in 2017. I almost uh, And as you can see on your left, that is the drum line. I don't know what year that is, but I'm going to guess that's either a few years ago or last year. Ball State. Ball State's organization. The band has a great number on brass, woodwinds, and percussion. Col and percussion. Color guard, twirler, cadets, and majorettes. Their directors were ch have changed differently over the years. They changed the music arrangement and writing the drills. The dr and I already announced the directors on that last slide. So if you want to know like what years they were there, you can you can pause the video and have a look. Uh, let's get down. They also have many different crews for the band, like appointed instructors, drum majors, session leaders, technical leadership crew, and uniform crew. I must have misspelled that when I did that. Ball State's Music and Drill. The director decided what their show is going to be this year. In following years from now and right before they start their show, they play their school song in Star Spangled Banner, and then after they play their show, getting the crowd hyped for the game, then when they get into the stands, they cheer for for their team throughout the whole game. And when they win, the band performs Ball State Victory March for the team and for the crowd. As you can see on your left, I've had I have four images. Top left is the trumpets. Top right is the pregame in 2006. The bottom left is the Ball State Victory Watch, and the bottom right is the band in the stands. That is the end of this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell until you're I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.